time after an election and before the new Congress takes over is known as a lame duck period in which departing members can clean out their offices or look for new jobs. Major bills don't usually pass. The reality, though, is this current Congress is poised to not be so lame. In fact, there's a lot of important political debates that are set to take place for the coming weeks. Issue number one, fund the government. On December 16th, government funding runs out. And while a government shutdown isn't likely because a divided government is expected over the next two years, there will be a push by Democrats to get as many things as possible in the spending bill. For instance, some Democrats want to raise the debt ceiling substantially so a fight doesn't happen in the months ahead. Others want a version of the expanded child tax credit reinstated and substantial funding for Ukraine. Issue number two, a same-sex marriage vote, a bill that would require states to recognize marriages that were legal where they were performed, has already passed the House, and a vote is expected in the Senate. Ten Republicans would have to join 50 Democrats to pass the landmark legislation. Supporters believe this is needed because they fear a conservative-leaning Supreme Court could revisit the issue. Issue number three, protecting the 2024 presidential election. We all remember the last time Congress certified presidential election results. An attack took place. People died. For months, Republicans and Democrats have been meeting to create reforms, so the certification process is clearer. It clarifies the vice president has a ceremonial role, and it also makes it harder for states and members of Congress to object to results. And finally, issue number four, defense bill and hurricane help. If you live in a military town, the annual defense bill is a big deal. It impacts raises for troops and infrastructure at bases. Congress is also expected to vote on a massive hurricane relief bill for Florida. Many communities will be rebuilding for years after Hurricane Ian. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.